one by one, the nine Shelby County jailers charged in connection with the death of inmate Gershon Freeman went before the judge. Yes, Things moving quickly inside court Friday concerning a case where the wheels of justice, some say, have been slow to turn. As this all happened in October of 2022, we're talking more than 450 days since Freeman, who was naked at the time, could be seen in video, kicked, punched, and pepper sprayed. But defense attorney Carlissa Shaw tells WREG things are moving at a predictable pace, considering they just received new discovery or evidence that could be presented during trial. How long has has it been since you received that discovery or that new evidence? I think we probably received it two or three weeks ago. The evidence consisting of the autopsy report, HR files on the jailers, and this video released from lockup at 201 Poplar, the moments leading up to what a medical examiner ruled as homicide for the manner of death. But Shaw, who represents Charles Gatewood Jr., believes the tape will help her client. His involvement was limited to removing one of his uh, co-workers who was being, uh, who was stuck by Mr. Freeman, and that was at the beginning of the altercation before it went upstairs, up, up the escalator. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who represents Freeman's family, saying previously Freeman had a mental health breakdown before the beating. Defense attorney Shaw saying for this reason, the 33-year-old should never have been in lockup in the first place. Jail was not the place for Mr. Freeman. Our system and how we interact with people who have mental health issues, that's actually the problem here. It's unfortunate that my client is being scapegoated. There's still a lot to be determined. Whether this is a joint trial or if each defendant is tried separately is still up for consideration. March 1st, a scheduled report date is when we could learn more inside Division Courtroom 8. We'll certainly keep you updated. Reporting inside the CJC, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3.